Welcome to Will It Work? I am Kevin. We're going to find out if my Radio Shack TV scoreboard works. Uh, this is the third TV scoreboard, and I believe this is the last TV scoreboard uh, model that exists, that, that I'm aware of. Uh, there, there may be another one. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but um, I think I have at least three of them. Uh, I believe they all play the same games, although uh, I do know that the the one that we looked at last uh, used a light gun. I believe this is just a straight Pong model. It doesn't actually use the turning uh, dials, it uses flippers. And it does have a start button, which I guess is kind of like a serve, which, you know, with Pong systems, that's pretty big advance. That's an advancement here. Uh, it takes batteries. Looks like we've got a TV tuner there, uh, power, and output. So uh, this is the third one, and I tell you, I I really think that like a lot of these came out at the same time, and I think it was just kind of like stereos and TVs and things. They just kind of came out with different like form factors and colors and models and things, so that like people would choose one not just based on what it did but also because of the aesthetics. And uh, that's something that's com pretty much been completely lost in most cases, other than, you know, somebody like Nintendo selling, like, the Switch in different colors, like solid colors, or phones in solid colors. Here we had a completely different sort of design uh, that um, we would see, you know, we still see with television to some extent, although it's really been, you know, thinned out now. Uh, since most people don't want to see bevels and speakers and things connected to their TV, they just want to see the, the screen floating there. Uh, but stands can be a little bit different, you know, and uh, uh, most of your components and things are pretty basic, pretty vanilla. But there was a time, especially back in like the 60s and 70s, when, you know, electronics were new and radios and things were um, all built to... You know, just have different aesthetics and different styles. And I think Pong is just, because it was in the 70s, is just a, a victim of that. There's just a lot of different styles. But we do have the same four games, tennis, handball, hockey, practice, uh, fast, slow ball, uh, paddle, large and small. And we have the angle, also known as the slice. Looks like sound comes out of the speaker here. Runs on batteries. So I'm going to put some in. We're going to see if it works. If it doesn't work or I can't get a signal, we'll just pop right back here. So, hang tight. Okay, so it looks like we have uh, a black and white Pong here. Uh, we'll bring up the controls. Seem to be... Uh, let's see. Seems to be fairly... Responsive on the right side. I wonder if I could play like, like, uh, with myself here. Uh. Oh, I just scored on myself. Does that count? Oh, no, I'm terrible. So, that's uh, your standard Pong, a.k.a. tennis. Have handball. Which is kind of like racquetball, hockey. Which yeah, this is definitely hockey mode. I've seen this a million times in practice. So this is probably our standard AY eighty five hundred chip from General Instruments. Uh, works. It's a keeper. Give Radio Shack some credit for. Building some quality Pong systems. I haven't found one yet that's uh, non-functional. So uh, good on them. Uh, not much else to say about it. It's like everything else. So we'll move on to the next stuff. Thanks.